Hi. Okay, so thank you to be here uh, to talk about the next lab with pencil VR thing. The first thing that I want to mention is that uh, this uh, talk is not about the VR or the XR is the, the future, okay, or the metaverse thing, or, uh, all this kind of shit. <laughs> okay, it's more about the workflow, okay, or ha uh, how introduce uh, to create 3D uh, animation, 3D uh, um, geometry objects, okay, with uh, another workflow, okay? So, uh, my name is Daniel Martinez Lara, okay, and my three passions are training, I have my own animation school, and I'm very happy to have uh, 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 a couple of access students uh, making some uh, talks, so it's really nice. Okay, I'm making training for studios, mostly in Grease Pencil, consulting in production, and make online videos. One, another of my passions is animation. Time to time, or years to years, I make some animation shorts, and the last one is the hero, the Grease Pencil. It's the first official open movie, the Blender open movie made with Grease Pencil. And of course, uh, developing tools. I'm not a developer, I'm working with developers. Um, one of them is Grease Pencil. I start to 10 years with this project to make the Grease Pencil. Uh, right now, I'm working with, with, the, with Next Lab to uh, develop the Grease Pencil VR, and the future project is the Blender Claymation. It's like a same thing like a 2D in a 3D, uh, make the claymation uh, inside Blender. But this is the, for the future. So the, more, the four topics of this talk is about the 3D versus 2D workflow, next lab generation event, M MPX workflow, and Grease Pencil VR. The first three is important to understand to, to, to see because uh, wh what is important, so to understand all these three points, uh, you make sense that Grease Pencil VR uh, is the ideal tool for, for, thinking, for, for some process in production. Okay, so the first one. The 3D workflow uh, versus 2, 2D, 2D workflow. Um, see, if you want to create this uh, lovely character animated, okay, you have uh, all this process. Design, modeling, rigging, animation, shading, and rendering. Obviously, it's, it's a simplified version, but mostly that. For 2D workflow, okay, for 2D workflow, you have basically design, animation, and campaign. It's more straightforward. Okay, it's more straightforward. You have less steps to create uh, animation. The interesting part here is that the 2D animator basically is the is the modeling, rigging, and animation department. Okay, because with this pen, model, animate all all the characters. And this is for me this is uh, an interesting thing. So keep in mind, okay, about that. So uh, now talk about the next large generation. Next lab is a lot of things, okay? <laughs> it's a lot of things. Uh, networking, uh, project support, but one important thing is uh, the Next Lab event, okay? Is, uh, Next Lab is, is, um, is an event three years in a row in which 20 projects are selected and using Quill VR, okay, and Unreal to create an animated piece with uh, the aim to begin the first interaction of a future final piece. It's, it's not a uh, uh, it's not uh, storyboarding, it's not animatic, it's something in between the final product and in animatic. It's like an animatic, really cool animator, but not the final product, okay? Uh, basically, using Queen and uh, Quill and Unreal. Okay, and for these uh, projects are selected to pitch uh, to Annecy and with all the expenses paid. It's really nice, it's really nice. Pitch in Annecy your project thanks to, to this event, okay? Let me show you a, re a video recap of, of these three years of Next Lab. Please, the sound. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no sound. This it was made in Blender with Blender Editor. Seriously? <laughs> I 
I put another videos without another codec. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, this is, let me put again. Okay, so all these happy people working with uh, VR headsets, okay, is mostly of this uh, um, person are not 3D people. It's working in 2D or designers or whatever. Another one are 3D people, okay, but is uh, with this headset and training, that class make this training, okay, to these people, okay, and make a workshop to develop all these kind of thing. And here, basically, is Quill, okay, and Sport to Unreal to, uh, to make all these things. Okay, I love this project. And all this is, is made only with Quill. It's not rigged or, or animated in Unreal. It's just made all these things inside Quill and Sport to, to Unreal. I think it's, it's, it's lovely, all this kind of. Of course, there is a limitation of Quill because you don't have uh, some artistic tool to, to, to polish your animation, okay? But have really interesting results, okay? This is the event in Madrid, okay? With some talks about the, about, talk about the experience, okay? About this, um, uh, about the process, okay? And a lot of networking. Okay, a lot of networking is the one of the best part of this event. Okay, make the connection, connect with other artists, producers. Okay, it's really nice. Okay, so uh, another interesting test. Uh, uh, under the umbrella of the next lab is an experiment is that uh, the, cinema, the same animation with two door workflows. Play? Okay. It's basically is uh, two different uh, two different um, teams. What did the one of the 3D workflow, the, the classical 3D workflow, another with the quill uh, workflow. Okay, the same storyboarding, okay, and produce this piece, okay, okay, so, uh, with some limitation in the style, and, and check what is the pros and cross and cons to the to the three D, the standard three D uh, wor um, workflow and the Quill workflow, okay, and there is a, a lot of interesting result here. I, I think is the the results are public, right? Yeah. Okay, about the, the timing, the hours, the production, the pre-production, what, what, uh, uh, what is best, what is not. I think it's, it's really interesting, a really interesting uh, uh, test. Okay, so one thing is that XR workflow, XR is, is like a VR plus uh, mixed reality or mental reality, okay? So XR workflow may be ideal, ideal for certain portion cases. Like, let me show you. These examples, okay, this was made by Joe Daniels, he's a really great artist, okay, with using an IM VR, an IM VR this is similar to Quill, okay, and a sport to this to Blender, okay, uh, like, like in this case, this is a render Blender, but the whole animation is made in an IM VR, okay, and a sport and make uh, some remeshes and a lot of tricks, okay, uh, but all the animation, uh, is made in, in, in with uh, Quill VR uh, and in VR uh, workflow. Okay, so come back to this. Uh, coming back to to this slide, uh, this is one. Uh, when I think this is one of the most interesting part of the or, or topic or, or the, uh, the idea of this of this talk is uh, to create. Okay. Uh, this is for me is the the, the best uh, the, the the key of this of this presentation. It's not about the XR, okay. It's about the workflow, okay. So uh, for me this is important because it's introduced in Blender another way to create 3D. 
So, like Grease Pencil uh, introduced, uh, in, introduced the creating 2D workflow inside a 3D program, okay? Like right now, okay? It's the 2D workflow inside the 3D program. But the interesting thing here is that Grease Pencil VR uh, introduced, uh, you, you can create 3D using the, the, the 2D workflow. This is the point. This is the point. Okay, it's not about the metaverse or VR is the future. I, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. It's introduce another way to create 3D inside Blender. Okay, and maybe ideal for for certain for for specific cases. Obviously, don't replace anything. The classic 3D workflow is to introduce a new way. And and I think is uh, XR workflow may ideal for some for some cases in production. Okay, so the, the, this topic, okay? I think this is a really important uh, idea, or is the MPX, M, MPX workflow, okay? So mouse, mouse, pen, and XR. The idea behind that is that the best thing to work, to, uh, the best thing about to work in, in, in VR, XR, is not to be enforced to work in, in XR all the time, okay? It's, it's frustrating for, for, for you, you mean to create uh, 3D all the time with the glasses, it's, it's, it's cool, okay? Uh, some people love it, but lovely, uh, love it, love, 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 love. <laughs> some people love, okay? But uh, it's, uh, for me, it's important this thing because uh, XR, VR hardware is just another peripheral um, on the same level as your mouse on pen. Okay, choose one that you pet switch for your for the task for, for your task. Okay, in the same work session. For me, this is uh, this important. Have this. Okay, uh, inside Blender. It's not put your glasses and enter in Blender another world with another menus, all this kind of thing. It's like a, I think this. For this stack, is is better use the mouse. For this, uh, the pen. And for this, we are okay in the same session. Okay. So, with this concept in mind, the the work, the two D workflow, the next lab experience. Okay, on during these three years. Okay, and this concept, the MPX. Uh, thanks to next lab, we are working in in a with pencil prototype. It's not a final thing. It's a prototype. Okay, to introduce this 2D workflow to create 3D in Blender. Basically, it, it, this is the idea. Okay, this is the idea. Uh, let me show you a, a video to to explain this concept in uh, in the video. Okay, it's a mix of the old demos that they have with the new ones. Okay, but I think that explain uh, really well what is the the, the concept with sound, obviously. Ten, 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 ten. <laughs> okay, so in this case, okay, it's dragon with the pen, and now uh, put your glasses, in this case, to make the, uh, the scenario, okay, to have a 3D scenario. Okay, or now, for example, choose the, the the mouse to make some modeling or tweaks for in, in your drawing or in for modeling, something like that. Okay? A school is not the, the best, it's not the goal of this project, okay, but this illustrates all the content. Okay, the use the pen, the the mouse or VR thing. Okay? Or for example, in this case, this is this is the working prototype right now. Okay, drawing in, in 3D space and using a lot of tricks, modifiers with, with pencil. Okay, or for example, this animation of <laughs> one of my ex students and making this explosion. This explosion using the, the, the VR thing, okay, to make this explosion in 3D. Okay, or in this case, this is another of my ex students with this fan art and all these lines of. Uh, uh, of uh, this smear, okay, uh, all this effect, you can draw in your standard animation and start to make all this thing in, in the viewport. 
Okay? So, basically, this is the idea. Um, obviously, this is, is just a prototype. Uh, the idea is this month I start to develop this and make more demos about the showing this potential. Okay, make inside Blender because I think it is the case. In the same Blender, you can use the pen, the mouse, or XR to make the, 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 specific, the specific task. So, the project, right, the project phases right now is, uh, uh, is making a working prototype and use this prototype in a future, uh, future Next Lab generation event, okay, to, to, to test and validate this, this, all this thing. Okay, and right now we are here making a working prototype. Okay, so obviously the ideal thing is uh, make a proper implementation as official uh, Blender feature. Okay, uh, Blender Blender feature, but who knows? <laughs> because it depends a lot of things. It depends about the the budget. It's about the about the. Blender and support uh, a community support or whatever. Well, uh, but the idea is is make this a uh, proper implementation uh, implementation as official tool inside Blender. Uh, but who knows? Okay, about the team. Okay, about the team. Uh, from from the um, from the next lab part, we have uh, Alfonso and Jose Luis, like a technical director. Okay, and um, producer. Myself, okay, and two developers, okay. Samuel is the main developer, and Lazaro is the senior developer, okay. And if you see these two people, these two develops in the wild, in the Blender chat, okay, uh, express uh, make some laugh, okay, because they they are working hard to understand the Blender code, to understand the grease pencil code, to understand the uh, VR code, okay. This this. Uh, this is a, a, a lot of uh, work uh, to do here. So if you see uh, in the um, uh, in the Blender asking something, please uh, give some buff. Okay, and basically uh, that's it. Uh, don't forget to to uh, to uh, the, the hashtag with pencil in your social media. And we are we are uh, on time. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember that the last year I can put the 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 video the ten years of Grease Pencil demo reel? Okay, with I have problem with the sound like right now. I will try again. So let me luck. <laughs> now <laughs> I can't believe it, and I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> This with another codec is, I don't know what is the, the problem. Next year. Yeah, the next year with again. <laughs> okay, but imagine all this power, okay, all this power of the grease pencil uh, looks, okay, different looks uh, to create 3D uh, content, okay, and combine 2D with 3D. I think is, uh, as I mentioned before, it's not about the XR, VR, metaverse, all thing. It's just uh, to introduce another peripheral inside Blender. Okay? So that's it. Okay? Bye. <laughs>